Hello, this is um, the last video on this little playlist about the swinging arm coming up and this one will tell you how to align the rear wheel with the centre line of the vehicle and also how to align the belt drive or chain drive. It's not always easy because sometimes you can do one but not the other. If you're lucky you might get them both pretty damn close but this next video will try and explain it for you. If you want to uh, see all my other videos, click on the subscribe button, go to playlists, and you'll find them all sorted out for you. With the rear wheel in position, we now need to line it up with the centre line of the vehicle. The first thing we do is measure the width of the tyre. I'm only going to work off the tyre because it's rather more difficult to work off the rims and the tyre is actually what's on the road so I'm going to work on the tyre. The width of this tyre is 180 millimetres. I'm using a cheap and simple laser level which I have crudely attached to a piece of steel box section which is nice and straight. I'm going to hold this underneath the axle, obviously down the bottom, so I can get the laser to shine out the front. I'm going to hold this along the side of the tyre. So I take to find the point at the front of the vehicle where my laser needs to land, I've taken half the width of the tyre, which is 90 millimetres, the height of the laser beam above the bottom of here, which is 62. So 152 millimetres off centre is where my laser lands. Coming now to the front of the vehicle. For clarity I've put uh, some rubber mats on the floor here and you'll see two chalk marks there. I've measured between the front tyres and found the centre line and then I've stepped across from the centre line and made a second mark which is 152 millimetres to the left of the centre line. 152 millimetres you'll remember is how far my laser is off the centre of the rear wheel so that chalk mark is where my laser needs to land. I shall now get my glamorous assistant Claire to come and keep an eye on things whilst I line it up. Right, which way have I got to go? Right half foot inch okay right thank you very much here you can see the laser fixed to its metal strap and a spanner which I've just used on the adjuster to tweak it across until Claire told me I was on the chalk mark which is on the floor way down there. Having lined the wheel up with the centre line of the vehicle you might like to make a little wooden block a piece uh, sawn off the end of a broomstick or something like that will do quite adequately as long as the ends are nice and square and it ends up being a nice snug fit between the rim and the edge of the swinging arm. You can then use that as a gauge at any time when you move the rear wheel to adjust the belt or the, your chain, whatever you're using. Any time you have to do that, if you've had a puncture, whatever, you can always use this little block and that will get your wheel lined up with the centre line of the vehicle. Whether that is then lined up with the belt drive or the chain drive is another matter entirely which we will discuss shortly. People sometimes ask me about string lines for doing this job. You can do it perfectly well with a string line. Offset your mark at the front by half the width of the tyre because your string line is touching the tyre. Get an assistant at the front. Hold the back of the string tight to the wheel here and then ask your assistant to move the string so that at the front here you can see when it just touches the tyre. Please move it away from you, Claire. Stop. Move it away. Too far. Stop. Come back. Stop. Away. Away. Stop. Perfect. 
a little bit uh, cumbersome to do and you need an assistant but it works just as well as the laser and a lot cheaper you will notice that in order to make the accessibility better for getting a straight edge alongside those sprockets I've taken out the near side shock absorber that is a bit of a pain because it means I've now got to drop the wheel down in order to get the bolt in the bottom because they won't come out because the petrol tanks are in the way and by the way it's no good putting them in the other way around because you can't then get them out because the wheel's in the way the only the best answer is to have them in from the outside so the petrol tanks are what stops you because you can then just drop the wheel down and pull them out underneath the petrol tank right so now it's time to address the sticky problem of chain alignment or belt alignment for that matter the problem is the same with both you can see I've got a nice long straight edge and if I hold that nice long straight edge firmly against the side of the sprocket on the bevel box and just swing it down carefully I can tell you that that just kisses the side of the rear wheel sprocket which is exactly what we want however when we do the same thing from the back and hold the straight edge firmly on the rear wheel sprocket we find that it's about five millimeters outboard of the front sprocket now if you remember we have already lined up the wheel with the center line of the vehicle so we can't just be moving the back wheel swinging it left and right but what we can do and I'll try and get in close enough for you to see down there you can see there is just a few millimeters of clearance between the end of the bevel box output shaft and the swinging arm the first thing I'm going to do is to wind the swinging arm trunnions across and take up some of that free space there the owner of this vehicle can consider himself quite fortunate because we've managed to get the wheel on the center line of the vehicle and both the sprockets within a millimeter of being lined up with each other so we haven't got any of that or any of that or any of this business with the wheel not being in the middle even more with a belt than with a chain you have the chance that you will not be able to achieve wheel on the centre line belt sprockets and chain or chain sprockets both lined up with each other what I suggest you do under those circumstances is to effectively divide the error by three have a little bit of error on the front sprocket a little bit of error on the rear sprocket and a little bit of error on the center line the center line I suspect is the one which is less or least important because if the wheel isn't quite on the center line then the vehicle might end up going down the road crabbing slightly but we're only talking millimeters no one will notice if you're running a belt you've then got the added problem of the fact that when you accelerate and decelerate so you go on to engine braking the belt will track left and right and you may well end up being one of those unfortunate people with an awful lot of squealing where the belt rubs against the side plates on the pulleys inspect the belt make sure it isn't damaged inspect the pulleys make sure they're not damaged and do your best to balance it out and I think in those situations you're better trying to balance out the alignment of the belt and get it running quietly and smoothly than you are trying to keep the wheel on the centre line of the vehicle although obviously you don't want it too far out but I'll leave you to uh, do the working out yourself when you come round to checking the alignment of your vehicle next time you have the wheel out